This French Quarter building houses a photography studio, not unusual for one of America's oldest and most historic neighborhoods. But this one belongs to Brad Edelman. You may remember him as number 63 for the Saints from 1982 to 89, blocking for Bobby Hebert, Dalton Hilliard, or Reuben Mays. Photography began as a hobby. Now you can call it a personal necessity. This fills my creative needs and desires. It uh, keeps me around my passions, which thankfully are many, including music and entertainment. Like football, Brad says it's about being the best you can be. He's been at it professionally for only seven years. It's all about learning, experimenting. You want to be a champion in these sports and, and in, in a certain field, I, I think it takes a certain amount of passion. Not necessarily an obsession, but borders on that. You know, you, I put myself into what I do, and, and uh, that's how I enjoy living my life. And fortunately, I have found something in photography that allows me to do that, both on the business and on the creative side. This is Marva Wright from uh, Jazz Fest. I think it was uh, 05. This was from an old train out in Mid-City also. And you may find it surprising that Brad Edelman does not shoot sports. He misses the game, however. The pounding, I don't miss. I feel it every day when I wake up, from here all the way down. And uh, you know, it varies. Some days are better than others. No, I don't miss that aspect of it, but uh, I have wonderfully fond memories of it, and it's a big part of my life and who I am. On this day, he focused his artistic eye on renowned artist George Duro at work. Brad Edelman spent four years in Los Angeles after his playing days. He liked it. But as a photographer, New Orleans just offered too many outlets for expression. It's a soulful city. And there is not another city in this United States or any place else that I've been that has the same type of soul and heart that this city has. And then the mix of people and the culture that we have here, uh, it's, uh, it's intoxicating. And I think it brings a lot of us back. Where is my soul going to be fed? the same way it is here in New Orleans. Uh, there are, again, other cities that would be better for, perhaps for a career, uh, but again, as a photographer, it's such a visual city, it's just a wonderfully stimulating place. For Outside the Huddle, I'm Roe Brown.